After three series on BBC One, Attenborough brought them to his channel to bear witness to their televisual death throes. Ah, hello. I'd like to buy one, please. Oh, I'm very sorry we haven't got any. Trail, so, look here, miss. <laughs> Is this going to be a very long script? Oh, yes. You see, I'd already been to see the BBC Two people, and I said I'm not going to do any more Monty Python, and because I'm much, much funnier than all the others and much, much more popular, you better cancel it. And they said, John, we disagree. <laughs> ah! I mean, the arrogance of these people. So just how long is this sketch going to be, then? Very long indeed. <laughs> and even when it's eventually ended, we'll continue to reprise it for out the rest of the show. Oh, cool. Before reviving it every decade for the next half century. Oh, cool. When it is definitely past its sell-by date. Oh, cool. When it is a dead sketch. Oh, cool. When it is pushing up daisies. Oh, cool. No, sorry, I like that bit. Do carry on. When it has shuffled off this mortal coil. Oh, that was brilliant. When it has run down the curtain and joined the choir invisible. I never wanted to do this in the first place. I, I wanted to be a travel show presenter. It was the end of Python. Palin wanted to travel the world. Oh, put on a linen clothing and I hang around in bazaars. Hang around in bazaars? John Cheeshop sketch yearned for more sophisticated comedy. Come here, you stupid racial stereotype. I'm from Barcelona. I know nothing. <laughs> Sorry about that. And the only female Python, Sherry Jones, oh, gonna bash your brains out. had a sex change and became a man. They put these testicles where my vagina used to be and rather small cock. 